You are more likely to be struck by lightning twice in your lifetime than win the Mega Millions jackpot tonight. But that hasn't stopped a lot of Americans who are trying their luck, hoping that that record of close to $600 million could be theirs. So is there anything you can do to improve your odds? Our next guest has won the lottery numerous times and says he has a system for it. Richard Lustig is the author of Learn How to Increase Your Chances of Winning the Lottery. Uh, a good title, a fine, uh, fine bio for this segment. How do we do it? Well, uh, for tonight, uh, unless you're a regular player and you are following a method like mine, for tonight, there's the only thing to do tonight to increase your chances of, is to buy as many is buy as many tickets as you possibly can. But the, the most important message I've been trying to get across to America all week regarding tonight's drawing is don't get lottery fever. Don't spend more money than you can afford to spend. Because remember something, if there is a winner tonight, there's going to be one, two, maybe three winners that will split the pot. But there's going to be millions of people tonight that are not going to win. Right. So don't wake up tomorrow morning, find out that you didn't win, and now you're saying, oh, my God, how am I going right. to replace all that money I spent? All right, that's solid advice. But we want to know how to win. Yeah, now you say generally when it comes to picking lottery numbers, don't use the quick pick. What do you do instead? Absolutely. Yeah, quick picks, uh, I tell people all the time, don't buy quick picks. And people say, what do you mean don't buy quick picks? I always buy quick picks. Have you won yet? The, <laughs> the meat of my method teaches people how to increase your chances of winning. You never increase your chances of winning when you're buying quick picks because you're getting a different set of numbers every single time, so your odds are always going to be at the worst. By playing a regular set of numbers consistently, the more you play that set of numbers, the better your chances become. Now, you talk about a good set of numbers instead of just isolated numbers. What's a good set of numbers? It, it, it's very difficult to explain in a short interview like this, but there is a method that you can do to research sets of numbers. And I teach people that in my book. And it's very simple to do, but you will research and you'll, you'll find out if your set or sets of numbers are good sets of numbers. If they are not, you throw them out and you pick a different set of numbers. If they're good, then you start playing them and you keep playing them. Sure, and I know this is putting the, uh, the horse before the cart as it should be but uh... when it when it comes to it's um, always that way you I know. think you meant the other way yeah. I, know. I, I meant it this way because we don't know whether or not we're going to win tonight we hope we do but lump sum or pay out over years I, i've heard that so many people blow all the dough in five or six years it would make sense to me to spread it out that's something a, finan a financial advisor would be able to tell you. I personally take the, num the money every time lump sum, but you might be better off taking it over the years. And right. you're right. That's what happens is people who win large jackpots, they've never had that much money before. They don't know how to deal with that influx of money. So get help, a financial advisor or an accountant, a lawyer, right. and make sure those people, by the way, are reputable people. And they will tell you how to, to use that money to secure your financial uh, future. All right. Are you playing tonight? Oh, absolutely I'm playing tonight. <laughs> yeah. Even though you're not going to win. All right. What are your numbers? We never know. What are your numbers? Pardon? Give what us you... one of your oh, numbers. Th no, those are my numbers. I'm not going to tell them. All right. Well, you, we're not going to move until you tell us. <laughs> Listen right here. Well, I mean, I got all day. Tell Hammer and McCallum, go back to bed. Uh, yeah. Sure. His book is called Learn How to Increase Your Chances of Winning the Lottery. Richard Lustig joining us from Orlando. Thank you, sir.